All right. Hey, what's going on? Um, so first off, just showing off the uh, little diagram thing that I got printed off. Um, and it's a foam board and printed up bigger than the eight by eight and a half by 11. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It, um, so far so good. I do need to use the uh, cleaner, like rubbing alcohol to clean it off. Um, but yeah, I need some finer markers for sure. And a ruler probably would be handy just so you're not cutting through certain things if you want to keep it clean. Um, but anyway, um, this is the patch that I'm going to do for the rhythm side. Um, as for the, um, uh, so you can pause it there, I guess, if you need to. Um, it looks really messy, so I understand if you don't. Um, uh, for the uh, kind of melodic side, what I want to do is run the uh, bass drum voice. Um, I want to trick that with the triangle LFO just to give that kind of more of like a synth uh, oscillator sound, more of like... And then I'm going to run that um, actually out through a VCA. Then to, sorry, I don't have this one written out. I can draw this one up too um, later um, if necessary. But um, so I'm running the VCA out. So this is audio from the bass drum. I'm going to just run that mic to the mix in, a little click. You can do it quicker, maybe reduce the click. Reduce the click, and then uh, I'm going to CV that actually with the envelope of a hi-hat. And the hi-hat is going to be getting, um, so first I'm going to run 16 through one attenuator and 8 through another. don't know how goofy this is going to be. This might be something I want to switch up. Just kind of winging it on this, um, but it's what I have in my notes. So um, here we go. Um, yep, 16, 1, and they're both going to the switch on the right. And that is going to go out to the first pulse converter. And then that pulse converter is also going to go out to the inverter that is CV controlled, and that's going to go out to the second pulse converter. Um, the oops, first pulse converter here is also going to get one. I've been considering to do two instead of one just to get a faster pulse in there, but we will see how that goes. Um, right now I'm going to bring those attenuators down, and then this top um, pulse converter is going to go to the trigger and now I'm going to turn the volume down on the bass drum so I don't hear it right away but we should start getting some pulses um, once I start bringing these attenuators up and the second pulse converter is going to the snare drum and let's see so I'm going to consult my board yet again and uh, this inverter here is going to get CV from can't even follow my own lines. See, that's trouble. The uh, one bit chaos, and the one bit is also, or the chaos is also clocked to sample and hold style to the four. So I'm gonna put that in right away, and then I'm gonna do the one bit to the inverter there. And okay, um, may as well see what we have going on right now. Just. The attenuators that are setting the 16 and the 8 to the switch are low. I probably should once again consult the old trusty board and see that the CV for the switch on the right is 1 bit. Wait, do I have... Let's see. Where's that 1 bit going right there? Okay, 1 bit. This is 1 bit direct. I it to the wrong thing and then this is the one bit sample and hold here we go okay wilson look at your diagrams see you need finer markers uh, let's see what we have going on right now bring up the attenuator for the 16 bring in that eight 
roll back that aid a little bit. Bring up the frequency of the Shayas. That was low, so I'll bring that up a bit. And now let's hear that. Oh, that snare doesn't go too fast. What's going on with the snare? Bring that 16 down a little bit, maybe. Bring the. That might be low. So the Shayas being high would bring brings the hi-hat up really quickly. So because it strikes every time the CV um, is above a certain threshold, it also causes a trigger uh, the way this is going. So um, when the frequency is up, it brings up the frequency of the triggers on that. So I may not want to use that one bit sample and hold. That was just kind of like a brainstorm marker drawing. I'm trying to um, figure out, but I think I'm going to bring it on down to the square LFO. Cool. And now every time this um, hi-hat envelope opens up, it's going to be sending um, the bass drum sound. Which might be very annoying, but we'll see. Let's switch it up and try the snare drum. All right. And now what I wanted to also do with the other BCA is what I do with the uh, um, Base here, and I'm going to connect the um, input of this VCA to the ground, the output to the tune. I'm going to turn the tune all the way up and then gradually take it down and see if we can find some stuff. Well, yeah, I'm going to work that way. And um, then I'm going to CV that with the three bits. just to see what we get. Connected the uh, one bit to the uh, inverter, I can speed up the frequency. And now let's. Um, so, in this drawing that I have here, where to go? Where you at, buddy? Oh, we kicked out for a second. Um, This is mess. 
Let's see. It's hard to use this. I'm trying to use something silly. So I'm running four into a switch, long story short. That's going to go out to the 0.1 capacitor. And that's going to be CV'd by the 3-bit chaos as well. Should have been lower. Good to know. Get much cooler sounds there. And now that I have the uh, hi hat, uh, not hi hat right now, the snare drum, just accentuating it and the FX knob up just a little bit, sending it to the reverb. It's just kind of giving it a little bit of the uh, live sound flashing in every once in a while. That's kind of fun, actually. I really like that. Um, so, all right, now let's give this um, a little bit of a bass drum sound possibly hopefully so i have the four running through a switch being cv'd by the three bit chaos and then i have the two running directly to the uh, the, the point one capacitor
too. I, I think that uh, snare drum striking too much is kind of getting on me. So I think what I would like to do. new job bass drum let's see let's <laughs> i think if we add a little more life to that let's see Do you want this i um when i first started doing this i was connecting the uh bass module directly to the uh shayas uh for the trig just to kind of give it a 
little movement. So how about we just try that? It's getting the three bit, so I'm just gonna connect the three bit right to it. Bring the volume down on those so I don't cause any havoc. Let's mix it up a little bit and do the one bit so we get a little extra. Because um, I think that one bit gives a little more action. So let's just get a little more action there. say it enough but this is a fantastic fucking uh effing thing and i don't i don't know if i can swear here can i swear <laughs> can i swear here um and the people that make this are geniuses that i mean vlad is a wonderful person to uh listen to speak about his ideas about music and everything i just like it sounds like i would, wish i knew a little more um and i also just think that uh what they're doing for music is fantastic and now i'm done gushing um but listen to this, this is kind of cool. Got that reverb going. There's a lot of cables here. <laughs> um, you know, uh, as, as it goes sometimes, but... Um,
obvious right now, but this is like just experimenting, kind of seeing what's going on. Uh, maybe I'm gonna mess with the OMG and see if that does some goodness to the. Uh, let's use the hi hat. switch it up and get a little and now like because of the uh cv i think i'm getting or something i don't know i'm getting some like kind of crazy synthy sounds out of that because being cv'd by that one and that's messing with it because it's sending so many rhythms to it because the frequency's up so i'll bring that down a little bit now i'm getting not getting that crazy uh sound but then i bring the frequency up and it's so and so fast there's any doozies that i made or anything that you think i could uh shortcut um this is just kind of splurging laying it all out there and that's what this is it's such a fun sandbox but i got all the toys out today for the most part kind of not really i could definitely uh invert some stuff and do a lot um let me know what you think of this um and if uh i'm gonna use finer markers black markers that you can actually see um but I thought this was fun, and maybe you would like a laminated one yourself. Not, um, so just putting that idea out there if you think about it. I'm not selling them, no way. Um, but um, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> it's a cool idea. It was fun. Um, so let's see. But if somebody did sell them, that's so much. I wouldn't blame you. It's pretty useful. Just running the envelope of the bass drum. Like I, I've 
done that with the kick before by just doing that with the bass drum um, to the delay CV on the Lyra and just droning that and getting some cool movement out of that.
Thank <laughs> you.